Oh, wow. Yeah, Shadow Wolf Prowls. Unfortunately, that's kind of common here, too. Shadow Wolf says, Heiko, speaking of going for a ride, the heat here in Scotland seems to be bringing out the idiots. I saw a guy on a bike with a helmet, shorts, and t-shirt with flip-flops. What, what generally happens, Shadow Wolf, is people get complacent. So, if, if people have been riding motorcycles for a long time, they maybe started putting on full armor every ride. But by their 200th ride, there gets that point where they go, you know what? I've ridden so much, I'll be fine. And they just go out, jump on their bike. I've done this 200 times before. I'm okay. And that begins the, that begins the, the relaxed period of their riding. So is it okay? Absolutely not. I mean, obviously if that guy gets in an accident, he is screwed. Even a light accident without armor can be hugely, hugely problematic. Um, I'll never forget the story of a guy who uh, went out without any armor on. Uh, he was in sweatpants. And he, I think a car clipped his rear end and it just tilted his bike over. But he slid for six feet with the motorcycle on top of him. And it basically took off half his thigh. And that would have been 100% prevented. In fact, he probably wouldn't have even been injured because he didn't do he didn't break any bones. There was there was nothing wrong. The the only thing that happened was he had so much road rash because the road he was on wasn't a smooth road. It was one of those like kind of rocky asphalt roads. There was so much friction that it just literally removed half his thigh. He was never able to ride again. And it was a light accident and the only reason it happened was because he wasn't wearing any type of textile or armored pants. If he had been wearing textile pants, it just would have just would have grind, grinded away at the pants and his leg would have been probably just fine. So, yeah. Pretty wild, man. As they say, you dress for the slide, not yeah, the ride. The doesn't matter how cold it is, doesn't matter how you're feeling, you dress the exact way you want to look as you slide along the pavement. You don't, you don't dress to look good. <laughs> you dress for the slide, not the ride. Okay, so... Dynamaster, I'm no longer riding. The driving etiquette deteriorated a lot in my country. Yeah, I mean, one of the only reasons I ride is because I'm kind of out in the country a little bit. So, because we, we got a lot of land with our house. And because of that, most of the roads around me are like one lane, like 45, 55 mile an hour, lots of clearance on each side. You know, not a lot of intersections, not a lot of lights, not a lot of traffic. So... It's it's good it's good riding conditions out here. If I lived in a city or something like that, if I had to get on the highway, like nah, dude, I I probably would hang up the old bikes. It's just that's that's too serious, man. I, it still blows my mind that there's people that do like commuting on motorcycles. That's wild. What are these things? These aren't darts. A gurgit? I play Lost Ark. I did play Lost Ark, and I really enjoyed the gameplay. I actually played a lot of PvP. It was uh, it was a pretty good time. But unfortunately, I hate the end game. I missed the fish. Oh God. Yeah, the end game of of Lost Ark is is essentially a, it. It feels like a pay to win mobile game. It feels like something I play on my phone. I don't like it. Gameplay was fun though. I'm a pay to win mobile game. I am. It's true. Mm -hmm. There was no end game in Ark when you played it last. I mean, there was there was some end game rating. The the problem is, like, the the main issue for me is. I like when my content leads me somewhere. But the, the thing with Lost Ark that was kind of frustrating, and honestly, it, one of the reasons I think I enjoyed the PvP so much was because it didn't really lead me to that that mechanic. But the problem is all of the endgame content in Lost Ark 
leads you to the honing mechanic. All of it. So it's kind of fun to play, but it all goes back to the honing mechanic. Like even even the raids and stuff, right back to the honing mechanic. So it's it's it makes it so for me it's difficult because even though the gameplay is fun, I could not care less. And in fact, I actively dislike where the rating leads me to. Um, so it's just, it's just, you know, that's a, that's a big factor for me. One of the reasons I loved raiding in EverQuest and stuff, for instance, is because like you kill the mob, you get the drops. You kill the mob, some amazing item drops. And if you're in a guild with DKP, you get it. You then get the item right there. There's like instant gratification. Anyone who sees you with that item knows that you killed that boss to get it. Like that's a completely different feel. That's a completely different feel. So you know, it's it's just uh, it's it's just not what I'm it's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a homing example. I mean, it may work in other types of games, but yeah, that's not what I look for in my MMO. I remember my first reactor pull. I was shaking like a leaf. <laughs> you got less on the line now, but still. Let's try to do this without a critical meltdown. Looks like this ship's reactor is toward the aft, but there are lots of different configurations out in the wild. Okay, we're only focused on one thing right now. Pull the reactor and get it on the barge. As soon as you disconnect the reactor from this ship, it'll start to melt down. So act fast and make sure you have an exit strategy ahead of time. with a good yank from your grapple. Try to have your extraction fully planned out before disconnecting it from the ship. What? Can lead to employee burnout. I wasn't anywhere near that thing. I was not even near that thing. levels are high. Please administer two caffeine pods before starting your shift. Yeah, that's fair. Sunny chips! Ooh! Atlas Nomad. Nice, dude. How's your level five? Okay. Hey, Cutter. You're gonna start getting pressurized shifts now. Lou and I will show you the ropes when you're ready. That sounds horrifying. But for now, I'm gonna play some shift. Okay. That was awesome. We'll probably play more tomorrow night. That was good. I'm not done though. I'm gonna go grab a cup of ice and a small bottle of whiskey. I love Woodford Reserve, Costco's finest. You can get wood for reserve at Costco? The Siege of Rodhel. That would save me so much on shipping. Oh, dude, do they have double oaked? 
Oh my god. Dude, that is amazing. I will check that out. I pay a buttload for shipping. Oh yeah, yeah, this is Woodford Reserve. Yep. I've had a bunch of whiskeys, and honestly, I, I kind of like Woodford Reserve the best. Like that was that guy fighting with a pepper? Uh, probably. No, this is what her offspring looks like. They'd never have poked. Stop! Oh, you saw me. I was done. The fall of lion oh. Dang it, chat. I gotta go. That was fun. Thank y'all for hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate it. That was awesome. I will be back tomorrow morning at 8 MET. I think the plan tomorrow is we're going to start with Dragon Age Inquisition. And then we are going to switch over to Stray as soon as we can. I don't know if we have a, an exact time yet. But hopefully we'll be doing that kind of early in the morning. So it'll be fun. It'll be fun. On that note. I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are on the globe. As always, thank you for being here. And I'll see you fun folks tomorrow morning for another full day of fun games.